Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into a topic that affects millions worldwide, the link between diabetes and high cholesterol. But before we delve into the details, let's understand the basics. Diabetes and high cholesterol are two common health conditions that often coexist, and their relationship can have significant implications for our health. Diabetes and high cholesterol are indeed prevalent health conditions that frequently occur together, and their interconnection is not merely coincidental. Understanding how they relate to each other can provide crucial insights into managing both conditions effectively. Metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is one of the underlying factors that ties high cholesterol to diabetes. A group of disorders known as metabolic syndrome include high blood pressure, excess abdominal fat, raised blood sugar, prediabetes or diabetes, abnormal cholesterol levels, high LDL cholesterol and low HDL cholesterol, and excess abdominal fat. High cholesterol is one of the other metabolic syndrome components that is frequently present in people with diabetes, which raises their risk of cardiovascular disease. Insulin resistance, an imbalance of lipids in the blood called dyslipidemia, is largely caused by insulin resistance, a defining feature of type 2 diabetes. The body makes extra insulin to make up for cells that develop resistance to its effects. Increased blood levels of LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, as well as lower levels of HDL cholesterol, are caused by elevated insulin levels, which also encourage the liver's production of these substances. Inflammation and oxidative stress, both diabetes and high cholesterol are associated with chronic inflammation and oxidative stress, which can further exacerbate each other's effects. Inflammation plays a key role in the development of insulin resistance and contributes to endothelial dysfunction, impairing blood vessel function. High levels of LDL cholesterol can also lead to the formation of plaque in the arteries, triggering an inflammatory response and increasing the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attack and stroke. Common risk factors, obesity, poor eating habits, physical inactivity, and heredity are among the risk factors that are shared by high cholesterol and diabetes. There is a substantial correlation between insulin resistance, dyslipidemia, and other metabolic disorders and excess body weight, especially abdominal fat. Insulin resistance can develop and LDL cholesterol levels can rise with a diet heavy in cholesterol, refined carbs, saturated fats, and trans fats. Because sedentary habits encourage weight gain and insulin resistance, they exacerbate these risks even more. Synergistic effects on cardiovascular health the coexistence of diabetes and high cholesterol significantly increases the risk of a cardiovascular disease, which remains the leading cause of morbidity and mortality in individuals with diabetes. Diabetes amplifies the adverse effects of high cholesterol on blood vessels, increasing the likelihood of atherosclerosis, hardening and narrowing of the arteries, and its complications. Together, diabetes and high cholesterol contribute to a prothrombotic, clot-promoting and pro-inflammatory state, further escalating cardiovascular risk. A word of caution, before making significant changes to your diet, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are on medication. If you like what you've seen thus far, please click the like and subscribe buttons and the bell notification. Thank you for viewing. Lifestyle modifications are indeed crucial for managing both diabetes and high cholesterol. A balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, coupled with regular physical activity, can make a world of difference. Managing diabetes and high cholesterol often requires a multifaceted approach. This may include medications such as statins to lower cholesterol levels and anti-diabetic medications to control blood sugar levels. It's essential to work closely with healthcare professionals to develop a personalized treatment plan that addresses both conditions effectively. As we wrap up, it's crucial to recognize the link between diabetes and high cholesterol and take proactive steps to manage both conditions. Remember, small changes can lead to significant improvements in your health. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, stay healthy and take care.